What's up? It's it's been uh it's been uh it's been a year. It's been a year. It's been a year. It's been a year. Wow. Well, no worries, cause I got more coming. For this tutorial, what we're gonna do is I'm going to show you how to get this effect. So this is sort of like a condensation effect where like, you, you know, you take a hot shower and uh, you come out and you go to look at yourself in the mirror and you can't see yourself because there's condensation all over the, the mirror there. So you go ahead and you smear it and you still can't really see yourself all that great, but there's a smear on the condensation and yeah, that's kind of the effect that we're going for. But in this case, we're going through, say you were looking through um, a car window after the rain or during early in the morning or something like that. like one of the shots that I'm going to show you. That's what we're going to try to achieve. Um, so that's what I'm going to show you. All right. And we're going to try and keep it as short and simple as possible because uh, that's the way I like it. That's terrible. Just ignore that. Tutorial. All right. So I've got a new project open here and uh, I've got these two images already loaded on my uh, new project. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and get rid of the background. Just hit the lock and boom, just like that. Um, so let's go ahead and name these. I'm going to name this first one example one. And we'll call this one example two. So, and just to keep, I like to color coat. <laughs> so I'm going to put this one red and this one two blue. Why not? All right, so I've got this image, and uh, it's me just in the car looking out. It's early in the morning. You can even see my breath on the window. Uh, we got this sort of little raindrops, you know, uh, some condensation and stuff like that going on here. So this is a great example for, uh, for what we're doing here. So I'm just going to hold Alt and go ahead and just drag and drop it above, and uh, that's just going to duplicate. So if you don't want to copy and paste her. That's the easiest way I found. Um, so we're gonna go ahead. This is already a smart object. Um, so if it, if yours isn't, you can actually right click. See, like if it was rasterized, then you can just go ahead and see convert to smart object, which uh, it's already a smart object. All right. So what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to filter. I'm going to blur gallery. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do a field blur. And this I've already got set to 15, which is going to be good. I think we should be good with that. And then we're also going to add a tilt shift right here. So right here, you have your options and stuff like that. You got iris blur, you got a path blur, spin blur. We're just going to add a field blur and a tilt shift. And uh, I think I've got the settings where I want it. Actually, we're going to play with this a little bit. Because um, as you know, with condensation, um, you know, it causes a blur. But those things which are nearest to the mirror or window or whatever it is where the condensation is, you know, at, then you can see the things that are further into distance are more blurred out. So what we're going to do is that's where we're going to utilize the tilt shift because you can see where my arm right here is closer to where we're going to put the condensation. Let's say we're looking through the window of the other side of the vehicle and we're looking in at me looking out the other side. So let's just say that this is nearer. So we're gonna go ahead and actually turn down this field blur right here because uh, we want some of that, I would say. And that's the great thing about a smart object is that you can just come back and edit it if you need to, but let's just get it to, yeah, seven. Seven looks okay. So I think we are pretty good with that. Um, let's just leave it like that for now. Uh, the grain, this is important too, I think adding a little bit of grain, especially to something that you're blurring out. You see it looks way too smooth. I think just adding a little bit of grain always helps. Uh, we can go ahead and up that to maybe, let's try 10. Or maybe we'll do eight. Yeah, I'll leave it like that for now. I'm just holding control and using the uh, plus and minus to uh, zoom in and out. You can hit zero to return to full screen um, okay so we're gonna hit okay 
So now we've got that, right? So we've got, if we click this off, click this on, see, we've got our two blurred, not blurred, okay. So this is our blurred image. So let's, instead of copy, let's label this. We gotta keep everything organized. Uh, we're gonna do an underscore and we'll just put blur. That should be fine. Um, all right, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna create a new uh, layer right there. So we're gonna call this layer streak. We'll put an S at the end of that, streaks. <laughs> so what we're gonna do, we're gonna actually um, hit B for brush, or you could just go over here to your tools and just select your brush tool. And uh, we're just gonna drop this down right here. Um, let's select, and I'm doing this, I'm not gonna use any fancy brushes or anything like that, like I could, because uh, I just wanna show you that you can do this easily with what comes default inside of Adobe Photoshop. So what we're gonna do, let's use, let's try this one. This looks okay. Um, Cause we're gonna create streaks. All right, so let's go ahead, let's look at the brush. Let's make it bigger. Let's say like someone was wiping their hand. Let's pretend like this is Malcolm trying to see the giant Tyrannosaurus Rex. Um, all right, so what we're gonna do is we have this set to white, which is fine. Uh, make sure the opacity is at 100, mode on normal. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and create some streaks. Just vary the size and then some of it together. Maybe we wanna show the face a little more. Um, yeah, this should be fine. All right, so let's play with that. Let's see. This is going to be our field. Okay. All right. So now that we've got our streaks, now this looks terrible, right? What we're going to do is you're going to hit W, right? Or you can go over here, and this is the uh, quick selection tool. And uh, what you're going to do is you're going to do a quick selection. You're going to go ahead and highlight all of this, right? Just make sure you highlight everything. And it's just going to select everything that's inside of that layer. So I'm going to go ahead and go down and select our blur. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right here and I'm gonna create a new mask, right? So now we've got a mask for it. I'm gonna go ahead and just deselect that. We don't need that anymore. So now with this new mask, we're gonna go over here to our properties and we're gonna select invert, right? So now, you see that? And that right off the bat is not bad at all. That actually looks pretty good. You see, we've got those nice little streaks and stuff like that. It looks like someone wiped it with their hand. We can see clearly through there. We've got the blur going on. This is great. So, it really isn't that complicated. Once you, you can just go in and you can, you know, finesse with the with the blur right there. You know, you can, you can mess around with this and the tilt shift and the field blur, how blurry you want it. Uh, but I'm not gonna mess with that too much. And you see, this is why it's important to have that grain because you see the original image has grain. So when we blur it, it gets kind of gets rid of it, makes it really smooth, and then it kind of doesn't look part of the image. So maybe we'll up the gain, the grain a little bit. Let's see. See, it's starting to look a little bit better. Let's do 18. I like to round off numbers. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna hit okay. That looks pretty good. Um, it's looking better. See how it looks more part of the image. So now the only thing we really have left to do is, because that looks pretty freaking fantastic by itself, is apply texture, right? So if you, I'm gonna show you right here. I have this folder that I made, these three images that I took of <laughs> condensation. So this condensation here, we're gonna use these. I'm gonna make these available. So it's gonna be a link in the description below, which uh, you'll be able to download these textures here. And uh, yeah, they're pretty, pretty hard to take, but um, it's hard to get all the details in the condensation. Um, but I'll make them available for you guys below. And so we're just going to go ahead and uh, take one of these. Uh, we can take any one of these. Let's take this one. We'll take this one. Just drag it. Bring it in. 
scale this up. Yeah, that's good. And just check it off. Now, um, for this texture, we're just going to go ahead. We're going to hit overlay. And you see, we can we already have like this texture of this water droplets you can see here, where it's you know that condensation. And uh, what we'll do is we'll actually tame this down a little bit. Um, maybe do like 65. Let's try that. And uh, I think just because I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a blur. Yeah, let's do a blur. Let's do. I'm gonna go ahead and do a field blur. Why not? I'm not going to blur it so much. It's really going to be subtle. So maybe like... We still want to retain some of that detail. Maybe we'll do like two. That looks okay. So we'll do two. Um, and if we want, what we could do is we can actually layer up these uh, these textures. And you see we've got this one looks pretty interesting. Um, to get more on the uh, left side there, you see we've got this like interesting little drop here and this texture here. So nice and sharp. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll do the same thing. We'll just overlay. We'll bring the opacity down on that. Yeah, maybe like that. And what we could actually do is we could just go ahead and just copy this. So just hold Alt and then select the field blur, drag it, and drop it into the other layer that we have there. Okay, so we've got texture one, texture two. They're both there, both sitting. I think we want to bring the opacity up on texture two a little bit more just to get that. Yeah. And what you could always do too is you can always uh, rasterize this layer and then um, just pretty much like you can, you can erase, you know, parts of it that maybe you don't want. Maybe you just want this section here. You can go ahead and just use the eraser tool and just erase that or mask it or, you know, you can get really creative with it. Um, Okay, so we've got that. We can zoom in. We see our textures there. Even if we want, if we don't want the texture, say, in the same spot, we can go ahead and just duplicate, hold Alt, and we can apply this mask to all of these right here. And so now we've got this going on, and that's looking great. But I don't know. I kind of like the... Uh, I kind of like the texture going over. Adds more to it. Okay, so now we've got this condensation thing going on, and this looks great. And we can do the same thing. I'm going to show you another image example. We're going to take our example two here, and we can do pretty much the same thing, which is just this interesting, very starky image, which I think will be pretty cool, like I showed you in the beginning. Um, so let's just go ahead and we'll just hold Alt and just uh, duplicate it. And we can go ahead and just apply the same, same thing with just a... Uh, copy the blur onto there All right so now we've got that and let's just copy this holding alt there we go <clears throat> so now we've got this other example here where this is actually looking pretty interesting too and uh, we've still got the condensation textures going over it which look pretty good you can see some of the streaks here and there and, uh, you know, you might just fine tune it. Maybe with the. Because as you can see, my shoulder is closer here, so maybe we want to get that more in focus. And I think we're pretty good. I think that's. That's pretty good. That's pretty. That looks pretty good. Alright, so we've got these streaks going on. So we've got our second example. But what I would truly advise, you know, to do this beforehand and not after um uh, the best thing to do would be to apply the effect and then do your edit i already edited this um in lightroom this image this original image um i just wanted to serve as an example at least but uh, i mean it doesn't look bad you could totally get away with it it looks you know it this looks pretty cool but um the best is going to be if you edit it afterward. Uh, so this way there's something, you know, about it where, you know, it creates a cohesiveness all around, you know, with the effect, you know, blended into the original image. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, feel free to like subscribe. Uh, I'm going to leave the condensation texture pack, um, in a link below in the description. Uh, if you guys want to showcase or show any of your work or anything like that, you know, send me a link or, you know, leave it in the comments below. Um, love to check it out. All right, so I'm Timothy Santana, and I will see you next time.